Hey, Tara Shree here. Really good to be here with you. Um, I'm going to keep this really simple, sweet, and short today. My kids are being a little bit of a handful, thankfully. Um, one of our therapists is actually with our children um, at the moment, so that way um, I can get a break here and do a couple of business things. It's really, really nice sometimes to be able to have that. Um, so we'll keep this sweet and simple and short, but uh, if you're here for the first time, I just want to say welcome, and if you're returning, I just want to say thank you for all your support and um, welcome and glad to have you. And so today I just want to share a couple of um, really simple tips to help increase smoke supply, especially when you're a mom that is on the move and on the go, especially since once you start having multiples, they all kind of go with you, right? So um, the biggest tips that I have for you, just a few, I'm just going to share like maybe two or three tips to keep it really simple. And if you want to know more, just respond in the comments. I'll leave my contact information. You can respond to that, so feel free. And um, my first tip for you is um, eating some really dark green leafy vegetables. Um, and that's really easy to do. So here's my encouragement to you is to grab um, some time out of your schedule, maybe 30 minutes. You can prep like five uh, to seven, depending on if you want it like Monday through Sunday, um, salads where you can have really dark green leafy vegetables. So um, I encourage like spinach. I encourage... Um, you know, any type of romaine or dark green um, vegetable, essentially, okay? Another really good um, vegetable for um, milk supply, believe it or not, is avocado. And that's something that you can slice up real quick. You can, um, you know, pair avocado with just about anything. You know, you could um, have salad set aside and then maybe do some meat on the side if you're somebody that likes meat. And uh, you could make yourself tacos. You could do... Um, more of a taco salad. You could do, um, you know, uh, just a simple salad with a little bit of avocado, some cilantro, and some other things um, in it. Or you could do like a black bean soup with avocado or something like that. Um, and those things don't take a lot of time. You know, you should be able to whip up seven salads along with um, some soup in about, you know, an hour and a half's time, you know, hour to hour and a half. Um, and that can last you for the week. Um, if you have a bigger family, you just make a bigger vat of uh, soup or maybe um, if your kids really like salad, uh, maybe you could do like a salad base and if they don't want certain things, then you could have the kids, um, you know, maybe you could lay like some additional vegetables and stuff on the side and let them kind of like make their own salads or um, maybe you can have something extra for them on the side, like maybe they could be having tacos while you have the salad, right? So it's just a way to incorporate um, increasing milk supply along with healthy eating habits for your children. Um, so that's an absolute possibility too. Um, the other thing that I really recommend um, is taking something called fenugreek. Um, fenugreek is an herb, it's kept um, Usually in the grocery store with like all the rest of the supplements and vitamins, it's relatively reasonable in price. Um, and you can have fenugreek. I like to actually um, put it in my tea. There's also a product. I think it's by um, it's something medicinals is the brand. You could find it in like the tea section. It's called Mother's Milk Tea. Um, and you can find it and it's even cheaper. Like I know they have all those like shakes out there and cookies that you can make that actually smoke supply. Um, I'm not as big on those because those haven't been tested. I like more natural herb type stuff. So anything I'll share will probably pertain more to that. Um, but I do recommend just putting a little bit of fenugreek. Um, you could do it in an herbal tea if you'd like. Um, usually it comes in a capsule format. You can take it with just a bottle of water too. Um, that works as well. And uh, these things are supposed to really help to increase your milk supply level. So I definitely encourage um, doing that. Um, the other thing is making sure that you're getting enough protein inside of your diet. So if you are on the go, a really awesome go-to would be hard-boiled eggs. Um, or you can use peanut butter. Um, I try to limit peanut butter because, again, and I'll say this over and over again, I don't like the way that... Um, Peanuts in particular are processed. The processing uh, that they go through isn't really healthy for us. And so I try to refrain from that. But if I don't have any other options and I'm on the go, just some simple 
um, you know, celery because it doesn't have a ton of calories um, and it's mainly water, right? Um, with a little bit of peanut butter works great. You can get your protein in that way. Um, or you can take some almonds with you and do it that way or some hard boiled eggs. Um, and you could pair that, uh, maybe do yourself a little solid um, egg, uh, hard boiled eggs with spinach um, and a little bit of uh, tomato. I would do it earlier on if you're going to do it because otherwise tomatoes can cause a lot of heartburn and they have acid in them and they can cause other issues. But anyway, so if you could eat those earlier in the day, they can actually help um, digestion, ironically enough. Um, so that's always a good go-to. Um, or just even doing maybe some egg salad over um, a bed of spinach would be an even better option for your health. Um, so those are just some ideas of, you know, how to increase your um, overall milk supply. Of course, um, that goes to say it's not just dietary. You really need to make sure that you are getting ample amounts of sleep. I know it's really hard when you're waking up every so often, um, but if you can, um, I know some people would disagree with me, but if you can train your baby to sleep train a little bit, just so you can get a little bit more sleep, still get plenty of um, meals and things in because that's important and still try to get as much sleep as you can. Um, limiting your stress will also help increase milk supply. So um, anything that you can do as like a really healthy outlet, like working out and then replacing your, um, let's say overall sodium intake, um, that will also help and um, making sure that you are taking care of your body, that you are um, really feeding it good nutritional value, um, that you're getting enough uh, low glycemic fruit, that you're getting enough um, dark green leafy fruits and vegetables, you're getting like avocado, like I said. Um, all of these things will help. And getting a little bit of um, grain too will help, but I just recommend more of a complex carb if you're gonna do that, like a sweet potato or, um, you need a little bit more stealthy because carbs are actually really important too when you're breastfeeding. So um, you just want to make sure that you're getting enough carb, protein, vegetable, fruit, and take that kind of thing and that you're not tandem fueling your body because you still want to be able to burn. It's just that you don't want to expend more calories than your body's um, getting in terms of being able to breastfeed your child because it's really important and you, you don't want to burn too many calories too fast and then you're not, the baby's not getting those calories, right? So um, you just want to make sure that you're getting enough. So I would just encourage you, don't feel bad about just, you know, eating a little bit more food um, while you're breastfeeding. Um, that's really, really important. And these are all things that you can do when you're on your go, right? You can take your fenugreek with you in a bag. You can you know, um, make your hot tea and take it with you on the go, the mother's milk. Um, or there's also pregnancy tea that's supposed to be really good for you too, so I also recommend that. Um, but anyway, it's been really good to be here with you. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, if you have any questions, want some clarity on some things, I can definitely help you out with that, so feel free to ask away. And um, it's been a real pleasure connecting with you. Um, I do plan on meeting with you this Thursday, if that changes, I do have something that's up in the air. So if that changes, I'll let you know, but I'm trying to be more consistent with a set time that I meet with you each day, just because I know it gets to be a little much. Um, so just stay tuned. I'll make sure to leave something posted so that that way that you are aware of what that time looks like. But um, plan on meeting and connecting then on Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're just jumping on, don't forget to catch the replay of today. It was really good and it was really simple. Something quick, easy for you to watch. I'm also going to leave my information in the comments section. So if you do decide that you um, want to connect further, have some questions, um, want some strategies, I'm definitely here for you. I want to make sure that I can connect with you personally. So um, feel free to take me up on that offer. And um, I will look forward to connecting with you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Until next time, bye for now.